Hello guys, today I'm building the Cinelog uh, 25. Uh, I already uh, started it, but um, I'm gonna show you how I prefer it. Um, I like it so much, so I'm gonna build the second one. This is my uh, first one, uh, and I will try to make it exactly the same so it uh, functions uh, as a backup. And I'll show you what's in the box, the manual, of course, and all the bits and pieces that you need, all the tape parts. I got a spare motor, I got uh, already four here. Uh, I did a little prep on them, I'll explain later. Some prop gauge. Leave it in the box. The rubber grommets, standoffs, more standoffs, rubber grommets for the FC. Don't need them because I already have my own FC. And uh, this build is from scratch, so I got many things that I uh, harvest from uh, other quads. So like the TBS and the uh, Cadex Vista with the uh, DJI Cam. Power leads with a capacitor. Okay, let's start uh, building. Because um, the prop guards are on here, I put a little bit of shrink tube to uh, protect the wires. So I will uh, do it like this, so they stay nice and tucked away and can't reach props. This is stiff, you see. Okay, I already did two of them. I'm gonna do these two as well. Put this aside. Okay, now put the motors uh, on the frame, uh, temporary, uh, with uh, little screws, so it's uh, easier, because the motors sit like this. The props of uh, the prop guard will sit on top of here, and the motor will so sit on top of that one, only then, yeah, with soldering, it's not easy. So. This is the front of the frame because of the rubber grommets. So this needs to be motor one. So if we flip it around then we can see here, motor one, motor one. So it took all wires away. Then on top. So this is motor one. You will need a little bit of slack in the cables because the motor will need to rise uh, to fit the, the prop cuts. Like that. Strip a little bit of wire. Uh, 
I usually have my iron on uh, 370. I think it's enough for this uh, application. When you have bigger pads, then I bump it up to four, 400. So. Three fifty. A little bit of tin. Oh yeah. And I always use a little bit of electric tape to put over it. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I'm not used to a camera. So Flip the orientation in beta flight. Let's do crossfire. So if I inspect these connections are uh, I think crossfire. Yes. So ground is on top. sitting in the back so maybe do the cables like like this way yeah that's better like that okay that's done now we go over to the Vista the flux Vista should be um, this should be uh, ground 5 volts um, TX RX or reversed but we'll see you later Also done. Okay. Disconnect. <laughs> Don't 
don't put it too tight but don't don't over tighten just a little bit of tension on it like that my other one I have this same setup so I like it uh, black is minus so black near the USB so I'm gonna fire up my soldering iron put it to 400 It's not a firm connection. You see? It's not firm. That's a better one. So, to connect the battery, for example. It's long enough. It's perfect. So that's done. Next thing. Standoffs. I'm using a 15 centimeter antenna. I already uh, put the Kerex Vista on the uh, board. And the orientation like is like this. Put this up top to the front because it mounts like that. So now we can wire it, this thing up and put the, all the connections in. Let's first make, all right, that can be later done. Okay, let's solder up the CADEX. I guess that's the best way to do it. It's easy, so. We're gonna use this one. You have this board with two uh, standoffs. Where do we have them? using the six the connection layout from the Cadex so if we gonna see here in this orientation this should be battery 
uh, sorry. Yeah, battery ground RX TX. So the first pad should be battery. Make them all four, exact the same. After that is ground. After that is yellow. And yellow is RX and goes to the board on TX. So it's cross. Send and receive. Let's inspect it. Yep. Okay, now we can turn this. Connect the antenna. Move this away. Connect the antenna. Yeah. Oh yeah. Should lose this. Loosen that corner. Otherwise, the, this won't be done. Squeeze it under there. There's a little nudge. And squeeze it in between the PCB and the heat sink. Okay. It's all done. Make sure all cables are a little bit tucked away. We need to have this guy. Oh, I think I made a little bit problem for myself. Twist it a couple of times. Not too much. Sorry, guys.
like that. And then put the standoff, where is it, back in place. Make some airflow. Let's connect the, the ducts. Watch out, if you take any other screw that's longer See here, nose. Uh, yeah, the screw is a little bit protruding, but not not much. So this is perfect. Okay, push them through and grab them. It works. Okay, once the up, this is up. Doesn't fit <laughs> nicely. <laughs> Because the these ducts are in the way. How did I do that on my other quad? Oh, I have them turned, so that's not in the way of the camera. Okay. Finally, 
So it's finally done. Uh, one thing that I uh, changed out uh, without filming is the um, uh, DJI cam for uh, the Polar because then I have uh, more light at dark areas uh, where I need to fly. And for now I have this uh, Gap RC Naked 8 on top. And uh, let's have a look at my beta flight settings. I'm not a great tuner, but um, I got it flying pretty well within my needs. So let's have a look at beta flight. So, so this is the quad. It's level. And um, your one is the the yeah you are one uh, we use uh, for the Vista and you are two we use for the um, TBS the receiver. So the most important thing is here um, uh, the yaw degrees because the board orientation is turned. And uh, it's uh, counterclockwise 108 degrees. So if you, we're gonna look at the picture. Uh, the front of the quad is nose down, backwards, left, right. So works fine. That's the most important thing. Uh, presets I don't use. I run uh, beta flight uh, 4.3. Uh, speed tuning. I done a little bit of speed tuning, but I wanted to tune it more than uh, it is now. But it flies good for uh, for now, and it hovers uh, perfectly level. Um, what I did is I. Uh, uh, made a curve to the mid throttle so I changed the mid to the 80s and the expo to uh, 65 so uh, for example if I set this to zero you will see uh, the curve uh, changing also uh, I use low degrees for um, slow flying so. so this is the Cinelog how I prefer it if you like it then uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments